Hi there, this is Rosalyn Hill here and today I'm going to show you how to do latch hook crochet. This is my latch hook which I use to crochet and this is a great way for beginners to get started. So there's my, my latch hook. You can see we, we work with uh, a latch here. And to start with we do a slip knot and this is a really easy way to do a slip knot. You simply put the yarn over and bring your hand towards the hook handle and bring it over the end like that and then you can simply pull it over and back and that's a slip knot. So that's quite easy to do isn't it? Okay so to do latch hook crochet uh, I teach beginners, mostly children, but adults can learn it this way too. So I first of all teach that this finger here is my busy finger, the one that's going up and down. Okay, and the, the role of your busy finger is to control that loop on the hook. So it just has to go up and down like that. It doesn't do any pushing, pulling, and you don't hold it over here by the handle or in the middle. You just hold it just close, close enough to that latch. And then we take the yarn that you're working with, which is this one, don't get the shorter end, and you yarn over from the back like that. Let's just pull that a bit tighter. Yarn over like that from the back. And then with pincer fingers, you take that loop with your finger and thumb, and you can feel the, the hook beneath the fingers there. So it's not down here, or here it's actually on the hook itself and you pull it over the end and back to your busy finger and then put your busy finger back on it like that so we're yarning over away from you first and then towards you then we pin the fingers take that loop which is on the hook itself bring it over the end and it disappears and magically comes back there and that's your chain there starting to to grow and so we'll continue like that then, yarn over, pins the fingers over the end and come back to your busy finger and your busy finger will control it just there. And that's as simple as it is to do latch hook crochet and that's just a short video to show you how to get started. Okay, um, let's just continue for a minute or two. Um, I'm going to call this my silver, silver nails video look. So if you want to refer to it or send anybody else to it, say, have you seen the Silver Nails video which shows you how to work with a latch hook? This is how it's done. And you have a busy finger, the one that's wiggling about there, and that has to control that chain or that loop there on the hook. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do any pushing. No, don't do that. And just let it go when your loop comes back to you. And this hand has got two jobs to do. So it's got to yarn over one job. And then the other job is to hold that, take that loop. Look, I've moved my busy finger now out of the way so that that loop can be taken over the end, right round the back there. And it's coming back and your busy finger comes back to control that loop. If your busy finger's not controlling it, this can happen. It goes all over, look, and you try and yarn over and this comes over there. So your busy finger has got a really important job to do which is just to steady that loop on the hook. Yarn over with this hand, pincer fingers, take it over the end, keep it close, don't go over there because that can happen, look. If you go too far that can happen. You need to tighten it up again now. Okay, busy finger, yarn over, but don't pull it too far, just over the end and back to your busy finger. Yarn over, pincer fingers, busy fingers just up in the air now waiting for it to come back and it, the loop comes back and your busy finger goes on whilst you do the next stitch. Yarn over, over we go and back to your busy finger. And there the chain is developing, look, there. So that's how to make a chain using a latch hook and I'm going to say Goodbye for now. This is Rosalind Hill, just ending this video to show you how to how you can use a latch hook to easily make a chain to start your crochet journey. Bye for now.